This is Roberto and this is the HVAC is in my channel. This is part two of the sensible heat ratio calculations. Okay, let's get into it. So in the previous video, we were talking about three kinds of stars. So let's put that into pink in here. And that was star number one, right? Star number one was the J sensible heat ratio. What that was talking about the load sensible heat ratio. And then star number two was the coil sensible heat ratio okay so the j sensible heat ratio is actually right here why is it right here because it was related to the load sensible heat ratio that comes from a manual j uh, calculation and also let's identify that two in here right here we have a 0 0.86 that's a load sensible heat ratio and then we haven't hit 83 actually, but that's not 86. And why is not 86? Because this sensible heat ratio is actually the C sensible heat ratio, which is which is mainly the coil sensible heat ratio. That's a star number two. Let's put that into stars. Star number two, coil sensible heat ratio. Star number one, star number one, because they are related to load and load, load sensible heat ratios. Now, today we're going to go and start with the start number three. One, two, three, which is pretty much the default sensible heat ratio. The default, default sensible heat ratio. So, actually, that default sensible heat ratio is a name that I'm putting to this parameter right here 0 0.70. So let's put that into three stars. One, two, three. So you're not gonna be finding this in, in other books like say default and maybe they maybe the some of the some manuals maybe they put default and school heat ratio, but as general I'm just classifying it as, as it. But in manual J from uh, ACA ACCA they have it as J sensible heat ratio, coil sensible heat ratio, and a little bit of default sensible heat ratio. In some parts, they call it like that. Right soft definitely puts this at 0 0.7 or 0 0.73. All right. So let's let's understand better this default sensible heat ratio with a very nice and simple calculation. So let's do this in order to say the main reason for this default sensible heat ratio is for sizing purposes for sizing okay so in on this part we see 2.6 ton right so 2.6 ton I'm gonna be very specific on this so that way we understand very well this concept that's a 2.6 ton unit and why is it so so when we're talking about ton we remember that one ton equals 1200 BTUs per hour. So that was basically our nominal tonnage. And we had another video why this was 12,000 BTUs per hour. Okay. So why is it 2.6 ton? How did it come? Because we're using the default sensible heat ratio to size this unit based on the load calculation. Okay. So how does this 2.6 ton came about to be 2.6 ton? Because of the 0 0.7 sensible heat ratio that we manually put. Or if we don't put any sensible heat ratio, the program will put it for us as a default sensible heat ratio. Sometimes the default sensible heat ratio is 0 0.7, sometimes it's 0 0.73, sometimes it's 0 0.73. 75 depending on the program so specifically i'm talking about right soft in right soft they say 0 0.7 0 0.75 0 0.73 depending on the loads on the surface area and every a lot of aspects so in this case if we do this 2.6 ton how many btus is that actually so 2.6 ton and is this 2.6 ton Total, sensible, or latent heat? What kind of heat is this actually? So when we're talking about tonnage, we're saying about the total heat. So I, I don't want to be messy in here, but it's very important to make some kind of notations here. That when, when we're saying 2.6 ton, we're saying about the total heat, see? Total heat. 
just to mention that a little bit, total heat. And we remember that the total heat is sensible plus latent, right? So now let's convert this total heat or nominal capacity into BTUs per hour. So we can make some calculations. So there we go, one ton of uh, refrigeration is going to be equal to 12,000 BTUs hour. Okay, so if we do that calculation actually, I'm trying to make this as a straight line as possible. So if we do that calculation, that's going to be equal to 31,000 1200 BTUs per hour, right? So there is some question in here. So that's why we don't, we don't want to be confused on this part. That's why we're making a full video on this default sense work heat ratio that is used for sizing. So the 31,200 31, BTUs per hour is the total heat and that total heat actually is not the same like the 25,445 BTUs per hour. So what is this actually? So this is, it says also total, right? So let's put that in pink. This is total. And what is this total then? This is also total heat, total. So, so this total heat is based on the nominal capacity, which is two nominal load, which is 2.6 ton, based on the default sensible heat ratio. But this total is based on the sensible heat ratio that we put by default or we overwrite. But this other total right here is the load, is based on the load sensible heat ratio. That's why in here it says load, right here, load is going to be 25 because this is the total and that's going to be for sizing purposes because we remember in the previous video we calculated the load and let's do that just to see what why, why is this like that so if we have this equipment total load this number right here all right so let's put this number in here okay I'm sorry about those notifications. Sometimes I put reminders on my phone and then, <laughs> all right. So let's go here and say 21, see, 21, 45. Okay, that's the total load. Let's put total load or heat load, right? Total load. So that, uh, do you remember the total load is actually the sensible? Sensible in that actually plus the latent so the total load is going to be sensible plus latent so the total load is 25,445 and the latent load that says in here latent it's going to be this and let's put that in pink right here that's the latent right so the latent is going to be right here instead of sensible plus latent i'm going to put just 3636 36. all right so that gives us a sensible of how much sensible will then be 25 for 45 minus because this goes to the other side to minus it 36 36 so in other words the sensible but uh, please remember this is we're talking about load we're not talking about capacity or sizing so that would make it a total of, let's grab our calculators, and that's going to be 25,445 minus 36, 36, that's going to be 21. So that's 21,809. Okay? So that 21,809 is the sensible, and if we do this 21,809 sensible divided by the total, 25, 445 equals how much? That's going to be 0 0.857, which is pretty much 86%, and which we pretty much calculated right here. It's already there. The, the, this, in other words, this would be pretty much what we already know. The J sensible heat ratio, the load. 
and this one right here is not the J, it's not the load. It's pretty much uh, it's gonna it's it's pretty much how we size the equipment, like uh, like as recommendations to to size the equipment. Okay, so I hope this is not getting complicated. I'm just going. I'm just being a little bit very specific. All right, so let's do this down here. The yellow part was just to explain very well how this uh, works. Now we're going to put in pink so that way we understand very well how this works. We're going to talk about now the 2 ton and the, this 31,000 BTUs per hour. How we use the sensible heat ratio, okay? So in order to size our equipment we have z 0.7 as default and that's going to make a humid scenario. So in other words, if we size our equipment based on 0 0.70, that's we're taking into account a humid climate. Then say that we're putting 0 0.86, the, the more we go up, the drier we go. So that's going to be a drier climate, dry. So something in between would be a 0 0.8 in between average say average or in between okay so usually if you want to be safe or something like that so it would be 0 0.80 and that would be okay when you are putting in here 0 0.7 you are slightly oversizing the equipment so in this calculation you had 0 0.7 and uh, based on the sensible heat ratio on the load you are obtaining a 2.6 ton unit since this is a little bit oversized, you are going to be okay with a 2.5 ton unit. You don't want to go 3 ton unit. That would be oversized, oversized, you know? Because 0 0.7 is a little bit oversized already. It's taking into account 30% of humidity and 70% of sensible heat. Well, the more you go up, you're kind of undersizing. Okay, so this is the real 86%, and this is, uh, uh, you're oversizing a little bit. A little bit 0 0.80 and 0 0.7 is a little bit oversized too so you're safe with that so let's do that calculation in here in order to find out what's the sizing of the equipment so sizing the equipment look at this sizing the default C, uh, sensible heat ratio is actually used for sizing the equipment and when we're so saying about sizing the it's not a formula, it's just the only formula we need to know is the sensible heat ratio was the sensible divided by the total. Therefore, the total, right, the total equals to sensible, right, divided by sensible heat ratio. That's how we're sizing this equipment. And in order to size the equipment, where we have to input one of these values, 0 0.7, which is usually by default, or 0 0.73, 0 0.75, depending on right soft. Sometimes they have algorithms that tell you which one is better for default purposes. Or you can always overwrite that number to make it a little bit bigger, like. 0.8 or if you have a very dry dry situation say Arizona New Mexico 0.86 or even higher but remember the more you go up the lower your sizing will go so if you have 0.7 you have 2.6 ton unit if you have a 0.9 for example you're gonna go here as a 2.4 or 2.3 three so those are things to consider so in this case, for sizing purposes, we have the default C, uh, sensible heat ratio. For sizing purposes, the default SAR works like this. I don't want to put in here a D S H R because we already have like J S D. I don't want to make, make it complicated. That's why I'm just putting default C S A S H R. So the total sensible heat ratio is going to be sensible divided by the default S H R and in this case, that's going to be equal to the sensible. What's the sensible? This takes into account, actually we should put in here something very 
interesting we should put the sensible heat right here okay no actually this is the load sensible load we're gonna put this with green there we go load okay this comes from the load and this comes from default that's better default right so what is the sensible load the sensible load is right here 25 400 445 which is the total therefore the sensible would be 21809 which was calculated already so let's put that in here 2109 divided by you decide you decide what how much you want to size this equipment how big so the sensible heat ratio right here is going to be 0 0.70 that's what the manual j recommended in here manual j of rights of 0 0.7 and remember uh, i'm sorry for the redundancy but i'm just trying to be more specific so 0 0.70 you can overwrite it by 0 0.80 0 0.86 depending on the situation but usually 0 0.7 75 is okay 0 0.80 is okay so if we do that that's going to be equal to what that's going to be equal to 21 809 divided by 0 0.7 okay that's good 31 one five five point seven and this is BTUs per hour and if you want to transform this into tonnage that will be divided by 1200 nominal capacity the nominal capacity or the nominal no load is going to be 2.6 ton okay so when you're reading this default sensible heat ratio and you're saying that the required total capacity at 0.7 SHR, you are already over slightly oversizing the equipment. So if you have a 2.6 ton unit, you would go for a 2.5 ton because the manufacturers don't, don't make the units as a 2.6 ton unit. They go into increments of 1.5, 2 ton, 2.5, 3 ton, 3.5, 4 ton, and 5 ton in residential. And see, 2.6 ton unit would go for a 2.5 ton. There we go. And now I hope everything is clear, clearer now. And so we understand the concept. So that was the main reason of these videos to understand what are the different components in a manual J calculation, in residential calculation, in HVAC in general. All right. So I hope I hope you like this video. And if you do, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. And never stop learning.